Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today I'm, I decided to show you how to make a really really good audio recording when recording lectures or basically recording anything because sound is really important especially on YouTube and if you're trying to make a video and you're just using uh, the microphone and the software that's included with your computer you're probably not gonna have real good audio quality which means that you know people watching your videos will not be very interested in them uh, so audio recording is super essential super important to do this we'll need something called audacity this is audacity running in the background right now audacity is a free program that um, you can download and, and the link for this program is in the description below so download it it's free it's available for PC and Mac and it's absolutely awesome. So get Audacity and this is what you do. So you record your sound as you're recording your video and then you stop it. You stop it. I'm not going to stop mine because I'm still recording, but I already have one that I pre-recorded. This is, this is it. So this is what it's going to look like when you stop it. I'm going to just change this window size a little bit. So two channels here uh, because it's stereo and your wavelength, wavelengths are here. So um, now your first step once you record your sound is to remove noise and to do this you need to make sure that once you stop talking, once you said goodbye to your students or whatever, once you stop talking, make sure that you record a few seconds, I would say at least 10 seconds of silence. I actually usually record more because then what you want to do is you want to select this silence, drag and drop, I mean just drag, uh, and click on effects, go to noise removal and get noise profile. Now select everything. You can either just drag it or control A or command A to select everything. Go back to effects, go back to noise removal and now click OK. You don't have to change these because usually by default they're pretty good. Click OK and this will remove all of the noise, all of the little crackling sounds that you have in the background, all of the other stuff that is not needed there. You can see this actually disappeared entirely all noise is gone. So now you just have your voice. So this that's basically step number one. Step number one is to remove noise. Actually, no, step number one is get audacity. Get audacity. Get audacity, download it, it's free. Step number two is remove noise. Remove noise. And there are two steps to this. First step is profile, get profile. And step number two is remove, remove noise. All right, so that's uh, that's the first thing you should do. Um, if your voice is already beautiful by nature, you may want to just stop there, but I would suggest continuing and doing two, at least two more steps. And step number two, or is that step number three? I don't even know anymore. Is go to compressor. So oh, yeah, yeah. first select everything again and then go to compressor. And here, this will change the um, voice threshold of your voice. So it will decrease certain um, volumes and it will increase some other volumes. Uh, this is usually good at around minus 15. Uh, this is around minus 40. Uh, you can play around with this, see what sounds better for your voice. Mine actually sounds pretty good with this. Click OK. Wait for it to finish. And now we want to uh, look at the wavelengths that we have. If none of them cross over, if none of them go up and down too much, you can go to the next step. But if they do, if some of these actually go up too high, you want to click on effect and then normalize. Normalization is something you should be doing a lot because it changes your um, your voice, uh, your voice wavelengths and make them a little bit more equal. So it normalizes them, make it, make it, everything sound a little bit better. So here, step number three is compressor, or actually this can be also normalization in between them. Um, and in between everything, I would actually put normalization here and here, normalize, 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 because it does make things a little bit better when it comes to sound. Step number four, so select everything again, and now we're going to equalization. So this is a very important function. This will equalize frequencies in your voice. I'm gonna start with the first one, bass boost, and this basically brings out the lower um, frequencies in my voice, making my voice sound a little deeper, a little bit more manly. So my boyish voice will disappear once I click on OK. I would also normalize right after this because it will actually make your wavelengths a little bit different and then click on equalization again but this time we're going to bring out the other spectrum the trebles uh, the high frequencies so this will actually bring out the high frequencies that uh, usually older voices don't have uh, so you want to have these as well so they will sound your voice will overall sound a little bit better and normalize again and this is pretty much it. So there's a few other features you can use, but usually this is enough to make your voice very clear, very crisp. And this is actually what you're hearing right now. The, my voice right now, as you hear it, is a lot, uh, a lot better because I used, um, I used all of these features. Uh, you can also use something called um, 
hard limiter, but that's kind of optional. But this usually is recommended for people whose voice is either too wet or too dry in terms of sound. So if your voice is too dry, you may want to bring up wetness a little bit. Oh, actually, this is this is when you bring it up. And if it's too, it's too wet, uh, you may want to bring this down to make it a little bit more dry. Um, there's a few other features you can use, but overall, these four, uh, so noise removal, compressor, equalizer twice, and normalization, are usually enough to make your voice much more clear, much more um, effective, and and you know you'll have actually you'll have really good sound quality in comparison to just using the microphone and and software that you would use on your computer. Uh, so let me just finish these steps. I'm going to write them down here. So step number four was equalization, equalizer, and this was with both treble for low uh, for high frequencies and bass for low frequencies. And once again, normalize, normalize, normalize. And this is enough to make your sound super awesome, and really that's it. So make sure that you do this every time you record a sound or um, a video with a sound, because this will make it so much better. Alright, thank you for watching, please subscribe, good luck to you, and bye-bye.